apparently there was so much snow in Korea while I was not here. And if you know me well, you know that snow is like one of my favorite things in the whole wild world. I love snow. I was really scared that we missed all the snow. <sighs> I just finished packing my bag for the day because Believe it or not, today is the very first day that I'm heading out of the house, even though we've been home for like three full days. I'm jittering to get out and go to cute cafes and do fun things again. On my field trip today, I've packed fourth wing. I actually started reading this only a couple of days ago, which is crazy. I'm almost finished with it. It's a big book. I get the hype. It's like the perfect mix between Divergent and Harry Potter and like I can't think about a more perfect match. I love Harry Potter and I love Divergent and then it has dragons. Like what? But that's my field trip bag for today. The only reason why I'm bringing big bags these days is because they can fit my books. <laughs> On the plan on today's field trip, however, we're going around a little bit different areas of Seoul in this video and visiting some very interesting stores because this video is sponsored by a Korean tourism organization. I always love working with them. And the point with all of that is to show you a couple of different places and stores to visit when you're in Korea or in Seoul in general. Let's just get out and get started with the day. I hope that the snow is gonna pick out more again because now it seems to have stopped. So typical, right, when I have to head out. That was highly needed. Now let's go to the museum. It's huge in here. This is my first time going in, by the way. I've always only been outside, so. This is exciting. I just visited the paintings and calligraphy section in here. I could spend hours in there. It is so impressive how beautiful these paintings are and just oh, the craftsmanship that goes back into it is incredible. I just really love the very old like Asian artworks and especially the ones coming from Korea. They're so beautiful. That's why I love that store in Itaewon where you can buy all of the like lesser known paintings and it's actual paintings that you can get and take home and frame and put up. I love it. The National Museum of Korea has a lot of different exhibitions always. They have biggest building ever. It's ginormous. You go in and it just feels like ginormous. It's all free. You just go, you don't have to book anything online, which is really convenient, but you couldn't film in there, so I didn't film, obviously. But I went to the souvenir shop and I got some goodies. I'm gonna show you that later tonight, but the good thing about the souvenir shop here is that they're really nice. If you want something from Korea and you want to go to a souvenir shop, I say more often than not you go to these like very unofficial souvenir shops and it can very quickly get quite tacky, but actually in here and another one that I'm gonna show you tomorrow, they have really good quality stuff that actually you can put out in your house. I love their incenses, all of their ceramics in there. I love their little notebooks. I love the little keychains. It's just all very beautiful. I'll show you what I got at home. decided to go to that cafe but there were no seats on the second floor which is where all of the cute seats were. Speaking about like cafes and Songsu and such, I feel like Songsu is like the cafe game has gone down a tiny bit in Songsu over the past couple of years. That's just my hot take to be honest. Don't get me wrong there's still a bunch of cafes here and still a lot of cute ones but when Cafe Onion popped up for example it quickly became one of the most 
famous cafes I think even in Seoul in general but then it got so popular that obviously as any smart business people do you open several more branches but it just kind of turns into a little bit more of a franchise feeling and it's not as cozy and cute anymore speaking of cafe onion Anyways, I'm just saying that where Songsu before was one of my go-to places for cafes, it no longer is, but it is my go-to places for shopping. There are a bunch of really cool shops, both indie and brands here in Songsu. One of them being Amore actually has a store here. Let's go check it out. First time I visited this store, I really thought I was in heaven. They have literally everything you want in a beauty store, from cleansing rooms where you can prep your skin, to endless skincare and makeup aisles, to styling tables, color analysis stations, cafe, consultations, etc. If you're a beauty lover, this is exactly where you need to be in Seoul. And more Pacific is like the biggest mother company that owns, I would say, the most amount of popular Korean skincare and beauty and lifestyle brands. There is a foundation mixing station from Hera. I don't need to say more. I came specifically to look for the Laneige sleeping mask lip balms. Those are one of my favorite. They went viral because they just make your like lips so lush and nice. Let's go look for them. <laughs> Uimu is a home accessory and stationary brand located in the LCDC Seoul in Songsu, and I really had to practice some self-control so I didn't buy every single item they had. It's just so cute. All of their items are Korea-themed in the most adorable way, ranging from bookmarks with Korean poems on them, posters with Korean fables on, incense inspired by Korean seasons, etc. You should have seen me in, in the subway. Oh my gosh. It was rush hour and I thankfully got a seat so I was sitting and reading my book and I reached a certain scene. Oh, if you've read this book you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. But seriously, I have no problem reading like spice in public. No problem, but if you think that I'm sitting there with a poker face on, I'm not. I'm not. I cannot hide my face. So I will sit like this in public and read the book and gasp and I will maybe laugh a little bit and maybe I'm annoying to people around me to be honest, but... My face was not hiding what it was I was reading, that's for sure, and that made it very awkward, but it's so addicting, I can't stop reading. So, oh, oops, I should probably be more careful. I just want to get into my pajamas and continue reading now. Oh! So, the things that I got today. First things first, at the National Museum, I actually got two different things. I got a little figurine here. It is a little black bodhisattva. I learned at the museum that these bodhisattvas actually became very popular in Korea in the 6th and 7th century. Yes, not the 17th, but the 7th century. <laughs> Just because they have like great philosophical meaning and obviously it's a religious symbol in Buddhism. Then I got this little glass set, which is tea mugs, I believe. In the Korean colors, I thought this would be a great gift idea. So it's three little mugs. There is um, one dragon and two tigers. Usually dragons and tigers are depicted at the same time because dragons are for luck and tigers are for protection. Fun fact, that's my Chinese zodiac sign. It's a tiger. And this year, well, in February, it's going to be the dragon, which is one of the things that low-key low motivates me to get pregnant even faster so that my kid will be a dragon zodiac sign. Okay, not that it matters, but it's a cool sign, so that would be cool. Anyways, at Amore Pacific, I got four different things. I only came for the Laneige lip sleeping mask, but of course I ended up buying so much more. I swear this lip mask makes your lips so soft and luscious. And I don't only wear it when I'm sleeping, I also wear it throughout the day. Then I saw this thing from Etude, which is also under Amour, and it's a hair puff. Until now, I only use like eyeshadow whenever I have like hair sleeked this way. So I always puff a little color on it. And this one actually is made for that. And then I just got a pencil eyeliner from Innisfree. And then another thing from Etude, which is just a brown pencil liner that I needed. So. Those were the things that I got there. And then lastly, Oimu. Oimu surprised me so much. I, I think that's one of my new favorite little house 
item did st like stores. It was so cute. Every single thing had like a significant meaning. Every single thing there was a thought behind it. Every single thing was like in a Korean theme. Um, except for the one thing that I got, which is quite ironic, but this is just Alice in Wonderland matches. I just ended up getting those because the design was the cutest with the matches, but I just love how that store did all the designs and it was beautiful. I'm definitely coming back there when I want to like gift some gift to friends because it's a perfect store to get those kind of things at. I think that was all that I got actually. <sighs> now it's time to continue my book. Mangwondong this morning. I just kind of wanted to sit outside and read the book a little bit. There's 20 pages left, or at least there was like 15 minutes ago. Now there's a bit less than that, and I am sitting at the edge of my seat, like falling over soon, I'm sure. Um, just because I know I'll finish this while I'm out today, I brought another book with me in my bag, so I'll probably start that later as well. I must say, I've started to really like Mapu more since I slandered it a little bit in my like yeah. Yongsan video. Today we're heading for the first time in I don't even remember how long to Hongdae. There are definitely some very interesting things there that I need to show you guys. Okay. I'm literally sweating because this is so exciting. I'm gonna finish this chapter and then we can head out. <laughs> A little bus ride from Mangwondong to Hongdae and actually my first house that I had here in Korea and I say house because it was a house it was not an apartment was in this area and I used to always come here to like central Hongdae to do some shopping. Hongdae is like I would say one of the shopping like the shopping capital downtown of Seoul so I want to show you a shop that I used to shop at so much and I have not been in for forever and I just got reminded that it was here again and I really want to head in. It's style Nanda. Style Nanda used to be my go-to place to shop because they always stayed on top of the latest fashion trends. You probably know them because of their makeup though, as they've been going viral for years over their lip products and concealers. It's a makeup and fashion brand that I definitely recommend you to check out if you're here. Oh my god, I was so close to getting that skirt from Style Nanda. It was so pretty, I might actually circle back and get it later. Here specifically in Hongdae, there are actually a lot of stores that offers you an instant tax refund if you come to Korea and want to shop. I actually used tax refund for the first time this winter when I was in Amsterdam and it, I don't know why I never did it before. I can save so many money. But with these stores here, you don't need to actually go to the airport and to the tax refund section. You can just get it straight immediately in the store. Some stores that offer that is Cacao Friends here in Hongdae, Olive Young, a store called Butter, which is like home decor, stationery. It's really cute. I want to show you in a moment. And what more is it? Daiso as well offers that. You can save a lot of money by coming to Hongdae rather than other areas, taking good use of the instant tax refund. If you just buy anything over 30,000 won, Sammanon, then you can get the tax refund. Just bring your passport and show it to them and then you can get it. It's very clever. Don't sleep on that. <laughs> now let's go to Mushinsa. It's a store that Jake usually shops at, so let's see if I can get him something. Mushinsa is one of the most popular platforms for young people here in Korea to shop for clothes simply because they carry all of the new trendy brands in Korea, including one of my favorites, Gloney. It's a great place for you to go if you want to see what's trending in Korea at the moment. I said that yesterday Songsu kind of lost its cafe game a little bit. An area that I think gained this is Chungdo. 
or Chungku actually. <laughs> That's the area that we're in now and it's technically also the area that I was just in the cafe at, the really cute like jazz bar cafe. Well, it wasn't just jazz they played, it was all just like vinyls and I would say that music taste... Hold on, it's really cold. Their music taste was so good. I just, I was trying, I finished the book, but I could almost not even concentrate because the music was so good. Anyways, I just took the bus a little bit more down, just around south of Gyeongbukgung, um, in an area called Insadong. I've taken you here millions of times, but I wanted to show you the official sort of souvenir shop. All of the brands that are there are like supported by the government, meaning it's good quality, you can trust it, it's produced by certified companies. some traditional alcohol here. This is Andong Soju. Andong is known for like these masks that looks like this. Um, it's like performance masks that they put on in performances and I tasted this soju before. It was quite good. So all of the products that are in here are made in Korea. That's very like something that they really emphasize on because obviously it has to be authentically Korean. So when you go in here, you can trust that it's not something that has been produced in China and then shipped here. Um, fully authentic Korean. Even on the table in front of me here, they often have a contest going around where people can design a souvenir object and then it will be sold in the souvenir stores. So it's just a bunch of different artists, a bunch of different companies that produce these things and it's all like you know, done under nice quality control. I've been incredibly busy these days, which I feel very thankful for. It's a really good thing for me that I'm busy because it throws me out immediately into one of my New Year's resolutions, which was to be better at planning my work so that I could be in a busy situation and not get overwhelmed from it. At the time I'm filming this video, I'm halfway through January and there's a huge difference in my energy levels already because I don't have that stress that lingers because of my bad planning. So I finally feel like I'm like, becoming myself again, becoming a part of myself that I really like again, which makes me happy. Anyways, we've come to the end of the vlog. Thank you to Korean Tourism Organization for sponsoring this video. Everywhere that I've been in this video is linked down below in the description box. So if you come to Seoul, if you're in Seoul, have a look down there. I promise you, you can find a lot of cute stuff to buy on your holiday. See you next week again, guys. Bye.